Greetings from English Flight Academy. I hope all my students are doing well. I'm pretty hopeful that these videos are helping my students to prepare for the competitive examinations. If you have any suggestions for improvement, I'll be really thankful to you for that. They'll be greatly acknowledged and I ensure that they are incorporated in the upcoming videos. So let's recapitulate voice. I explained you in part 1, part 2 and part 3 and this is part 4 in which we will be dealing with future tense. Okay. I explained in the previous video all about uh, transitive verb. Transitive verb is a verb which has an object. Please remember that. And the example there is Seema likes cricket. I gave you that example. Verb like has an object cricket so likes is a transitive verb please make a note of that okay likes is a transitive verb because it has an object cricket now what's an intransitive verb a verb which does not have an object is an intransitive verb I hope you understood but it is just for recapitulation Seema walks fast the verb walks does not have an object so walks is an intransitive verb as you know, a transitive verb has two voices. Transitive verb is a verb which has an object. Please remember that. So, transitive verb has two voices, active voice and passive voice. This is the example I gave even in the previous video. Once again, let's recapitulate. Atul writes a letter is an active voice. Atul is the subject and the doer of the action while a letter is the receiver and the object of the sentence. And when we write it in passive voice, a letter is written by Atul. A letter is the subject and the receiver while Atul is the doer of the sentence. As I told you my dear students, a sound knowledge of tenses is essential to deal with this aspect of grammar that is voice in an apt manner. I prepared nearly 7 videos on tenses part 1 to part 7 dealing with them extensively. So you can go through the videos to understand tenses thoroughly and then you can come back to this video and watch it so that you understand voice perfectly. So let's revise tenses chart once again very quickly. So look at the uh, 12 kinds of tenses simple present or present indefinite. Okay, Both are same present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. Simple past or past indefinite, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. Simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. So it's very clear from the chart that there are in all 12 kinds of tenses. However, the thing which is to be noted is out of these kinds, the following four kinds cannot be changed into the passive voice. Present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future continuous and future perfect continuous cannot be changed into the passive voice. So what does that mean? Out of these 12 tenses, only 8 can be converted into passive voice. So simple present, present continuous, present perfect can be converted into passive voice but present perfect continuous cannot be converted into passive voice. Similarly, simple past, past continuous, past perfect can be converted into passive voice but past perfect continuous cannot be converted into passive voice. So simple future can be converted but future continuous cannot be converted and future perfect can be converted and future perfect continuous cannot be converted. So you have seen only 8 can be converted into passive voice. So in this video, we will be learning all about future tense. In future tense, as I told you, only two tenses can be converted from active to the passive. So we'll be dealing with that and also the questions, how the questions can be converted from the active to the passive. So for simple future tense, how exactly do we change from active to passive? The five steps are object takes the position of the subject. This is followed by will be. Okay, and will be is followed by the third form of the verb that is verb 3. Verb 3 
you will find in all the passive voice okay passive voice consists of only verb 3 but there is a change in the structure which needs to be understood so this form of the verb is followed by by which is a preposition and by is followed by the subject and then simple future tense considering the above points which we discussed in the previous slide we get the following formula for passive voice but before that first we'll revise active voice formula subject plus will plus verb one plus object atul will write a letter and when we convert it into passive voice considering the points which we discussed earlier object plus will be plus verb three plus by plus subject a letter will be written by atul when we go for simple future interrogative all interrogative sentences of simple future tense start with will so examples i gave over there will i disturb you will seema sing a song will they make a chair so what's the point to be noted here will in the active voice remains will in the passive voice irrespective of the subject let the subject be i we you they he she it or singular subject or plural subject so simple future interrogative when we change this from the active to the passive look at the change over there with an example i tried explaining will plus subject plus verb one plus object will i disturb you then the formula for passive voice will be will plus object plus b plus verb three plus by plus subject will you be disturbed by me that's the passive voice interrogative future tense so simple future another interrogative if the interrogative sentence starts with who the passive voice formula will be as follows who will knock at the door by whom plus will plus object plus b plus verb 3 plus preposition that's the passive voice structure or formula by whom will the door be knocked at look at the preposition with the verb it remains intact okay that point has to be noted down so look at it how exactly it is changing when we are uh, using the interrogative in simple future and the question is beginning with wh that is who who will knock at the door that's the active voice by whom will the door be knocked at okay so who changes to by whom if a verb is followed by a preposition in the active voice the preposition will remain attached to the verb even in the passive voice so please note the above example carefully now moving on to future perfect tense how to change active voice of future perfect tense into the passive voice of future perfect tense once again we have five steps five steps are there in each and every formula or you can say that as structure so object takes the position of the subject this is followed by will plus have plus been will have been is followed by the third form of the verb that is verb 3 as i told you in passive voice we use only verb 3 so this form of the verb is followed by by which is a preposition and by is followed by the subject so considering the above points we get the following formula first let's know the active voice formula subject plus will plus have plus verb three plus object atul will have written a letter that's the active voice structure and when we change it into passive voice considering the above points which we discussed in the previous slide the formula or the structure would be object plus will have plus bin plus verb three plus by plus subject a letter will have been written by atul if the interrogative sentence of future perfect tense starts with who the passive voice formula in the case of future perfect will be who will have written the letter that's the active voice by whom will the letter have been written okay by whom plus will plus object plus have been plus verb three that's the passive voice formula or structure so that has to be understood when we begin it with who 
then you know in the passive voice we are going to write by whom followed by will followed by the object object is followed by have been have been is followed by verb 3 so let's see the chart showing transformation from active voice to the passive voice at a glance here you need to understand how the active voice formula and passive voice formula at a glance is changing tense remains the same once again i'm reminding you tense remains the same the only change will be in the structure you can write either this way or that way okay so uh, most of the time you will find these kind of sentences in news okay when you read the newspaper or when you watch any news reader then you will notice that most of the time they use passive voice so in daily uh, conversation we hardly use passive voice but those who have command over the passive voice definitely go for passive voice use it so the best practice is to practice it on daily basis so that you learn how the structures are changing from the active voice to the passive voice so over there a uh, simple future active voice formula is subject plus will plus verb one plus object and the passive voice formula is object plus will be plus verb 3 plus by plus subject. So the example given there is Atul will write a letter. A letter will be written by Atul. Tense remains the same. The only change is in the structure. In future perfect it will be subject plus will have plus verb 3 plus object. And in the passive voice, the structure will be object plus, will have plus, bin plus, verb 3 plus, by plus, subject. So, Atul will have written a letter. A letter will have been written by Atul. So, my dear students, the structures which I am giving in these Let's Talk session are very important and you need to practice them thoroughly in your daily conversation that way you will become confident and you'll have the structure in mind once if you begin practicing you won't commit any error and you'll speak confidently with anybody whom you meet not only that you'll question them confidently but also you'll answer them confidently because you're aware of these structures which are taught in almost all the videos over and over. Will you write a letter is the active voice question and you can answer that as yes I'll write a letter or yes I'll. Only short form can be used or you can use the full statement while answering. Will a letter be written by you? I missed be there. Will a letter be written by you is the passive voice. You can answer it as no it won't be written by me. Or you can short form you can use and you can say no it won't be so keep practicing will you write a letter or you can say will you play cricket yes I'll play cricket will cricket be played by you okay you can just you know just for the sake of practice you can uh, form as many sentences as you want so in the category of future tense uh, this is the second one which can be converted from the active voice to the passive voice future perfect tense so say it out loud there will Asim have written a letter yes he'll have or no he won't have okay then when you go for passive voice will a letter have been written by Asim no it won't have been written by Asim you can say it that way too or you can say yes it will have been written by Asim will not short form is won't as you know pretty well the contracted form is won't okay you can use contracted forms or you can use full form but better to use the contracted form because the native speakers mostly use contracted forms in English So that's the end of all the tenses which can be converted from the active voice to the passive voice. I dealt extensively in all these parts, part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 of voice. And there is some more to deal with it that will be called special discussion in which we are going to deal with imperative sentences. How are imperative active voice sentences be converted into passive voice will be taught in the upcoming video. Hopefully, I'll be preparing it shortly and sharing it with you all. 
do subscribe to our channel english flight academy and hit the bell icon if you really want to know how many more videos are getting uploaded every now and then mostly on saturdays and mondays as i promised i'm just uploading it if you click on all notifications then only you will be getting my videos please ensure that you click on all notifications when you click the bell icon and do like it if you feel it's worth liking and share it with the members of the family and friends so that they become expert in this global language english so see you in the next video with the another interesting topic which is on voice but how to change the active voice imperative into passive voice imperative will be dealt extensively in the upcoming video see you then keep smiling keep learning bye bye